The U.S. has slapped new sanctions on seven North Korean individuals and three entities over the regime's human rights abuses. The targets include officials of the North Korean government and the ruling Workers' Party of Korea. Park jong hong has the details. Taking issue with human rights abuses, the U.S. has added new names to its sanctions. The blacklist comprises seven North Korean individuals, including Chung Young Su, the labor minister, and Chu Gyeong Chul, the commander of the Military Security Command, which monitors activities negative toward the regime and leadership. Also included are three entities engaged in overseas construction. In a statement, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said, North Korea is run by a brutal regime that commits flagrant human rights abuses. He added the U.S. is especially concerned with the military that operates as secret police, quote, punishing all forms of dissent. Under the sanctions, all assets and interests within U.S. jurisdiction will be frozen and transactions with U.S. nationals completely banned. The State Department had even harsher words for the North. Spokeswoman Heather Nauert said North Korean human rights abuses remain among the worst in the world and involve extrajudicial killings, forced labor, torture, as well as rape. She noted that the forced labor of thousands of workers overseas is earning revenue for the regime and underwriting its weapons program. In related news, the U.S.-based Committee for Human Rights in North Korea has revealed satellite pictures of North Korea's prison camps. One of the committee's counsels, David Hawk, said there are more than 6,000 people detained in just one single gulag located in Kechon, and they are forced to make leather goods. He said many of the prisoners die in detention. This is part of an extensive report published by the committee detailing the human rights abuses of North Korea. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.